today's entry in the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Now we'll be hunting with Garmin's Ted Gartner, who's been deemed by his friends the luckiest outdoorsman ever. He's going after a buck that has eluded Yamaha's Steve Nessel time and time again. But we'll see what happens when Ted's luck comes into play. But first, we're proud to welcome one of our nation's finest, former U.S. Marine Sergeant Jody Parrott, to hunt with us over at the Rock Canyon Ranch as part of the Honored American Veterans of Field program. Well, that's all ahead on today's Whitetail Diaries. Yamaha presents The Whitetail Diaries, chronicling hunting adventures of the most plentiful and intelligent big game animal in North America. Join top whitetail hunters nationwide. Embark on the amazing adventure that is hunting the whitetail deer. Rock Canyon Ranch is over 10,000 acres of a premier hunting location. Located right in the intersection of three biological regions, the Edwards Plateau, Chihuahuan Desert, and Rio Grande Plain Brushland, a combination of terrain that creates a landscape of outstanding beauty. Rock Canyon Ranch is in northern Valverde County. Uh, it's kind of on the, where uh, the hill country in South Texas and West Texas all kind of collide and you got a lot of different terrain. Uh, we've got, you know, some South Texas brush, hill country, uh, cedar trees and, and persimmons and uh, some West Texas scrub brush as well. Owner of the Rock Canyon Ranch, Ken Jones, is always looking for deserving patrons to visit the ranch. So much so that he built this state-of-the-art hunting lodge for a group of boys that visit the ranch every year to learn about hunting. Today's no different. Ken Jones has invited former U.S. Marine Sergeant Jody Parrott to the ranch for a whitetail hunt. When I first started working with Mr. Jones here on Rock Canyon Ranch, he, he told me he was really interested in uh, doing something for the, you know, the wounded soldiers or the guys coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan. I feel like I've been blessed uh, to have all this. And this is a way I could show these guys, you know, if it wasn't for these guys over there fighting and everything, we wouldn't have anything. I talked with uh, Wade Middleton because I knew he had a lot of contacts and uh, he got me hooked up with an organization called HAVA and they help, help guys that, you know, coming back to get readjusted and take, you know, set up fishing and hunting trips with them and, you know, we, we set this up through them and with Yamaha and they really helped us put it together. We first met Sergeant Parrott at a HAVA event in San Antonio, Texas. We're at the National Shooting Complex in San Antonio, Texas and Honored American Veterans of Field, HAVA, is here today. And uh, our mission is to raise awareness and help with the healing process for disabled veterans and active duty military. And today is all about supporting them and their families in shooting sports and bringing them out to get to do something that's fun and exciting for the family. This is great because obviously, as you can imagine, uh, you know, coming back and trying to transition into civilian life can be uh, pretty challenging. When you're away, like, you know, most of my buddies are either still in or got out or they went back to their hometown, so I don't know a lot of vets like around my area. So to link up with them and have a lot of stuff in common is pretty cool. You know, people that put on events like this, like I said, just can't say enough. Hava and Yamaha's putting together a hunt and uh, luckily enough I got chosen to go on it. So next week uh, we're going to be heading down to Del Rio and uh, hopefully looking for some whitetail. I figured I was in for a, a treat and uh, got down here and uh, you know linked up with some good guides, Ray Hanselman. And uh, first day we got here we just got going and uh, Got a good lay of the land, did a little bit of scouting, and uh, found us some good positions and uh, some routes, you know, where the deer were coming in and out. Looks like a pretty good spot. Start 
start rhyming and put one in and just keep it going in the class and don't move. Even if one comes here and then. Alright. Man, we tried a lot of different tactics. We rattled, we walked out some canyons, uh, just trying to get some deer to move, you know, you know see what we can see. Uh, we're, we've been seeing some really nice bucks on trail cam, but the only problem with that, it's been three and four o'clock in the morning. It's unseasonably warm. Uh, typically, the deer would be in pre-rut, but it's been a it's been a pretty tough hunt. The Whitetail Diaries is brought to you in part by Cabela's, celebrating 50 years as the world's foremost outfitter. Garmin, follow the leader. Delta Ag improving plant performance. Do all outdoors. Field tested, guide rated gear for the outdoors. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries will be right back. Since 1961, you've trusted Cabela's gear. Celebrate 50 years of legendary selection and service. Find big savings on all the gear you need. Backed by our legendary guarantee. Shop your way. Online at cabelas.com, by catalog, or in store. And register for a chance to win one of 50 Chevy trucks during our 50 years, 50 truck sweepstakes. Count on Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. The world can be a tough place. That's why you need a side-by-side -side that's even tougher. The 2012 Rhino 700 FI from Yamaha. The toughest, most off-road capable side-by-side -side out there. Rhino. Real. World. Tough. The hunt doesn't last a day. It starts months earlier. With digital camera, topo mapping, three axis compass, and satellite imagery. Get everything you need for the hunt with Oregon 550T from Garmin. Welcome back to the Whitetail Diaries. Well, we're on the Rock Canyon Ranch with former U.S. Marine Sergeant Jody Parrott, who, uh, through the Honored American Veterans of Field Organization, also known as HAVA, was offered the opportunity to come and hunt on the Rock Canyon Ranch property. I spent five years in the Marine Corps from 2003 to 2008, and uh, did three tours in Iraq, and uh, been shot once and uh, had a few ID hits and uh, one particular bad one on uh, my last deployment. And uh, after that, I thought I'd better stop messing around over there before I don't come back. He's a great guy, man. He, he's been through a lot. You know, he served our country and, and, and we're really grateful for what he's done. You know, it didn't just start with these guys. It started with the veterans a long time ago before any of us was here. Uh, they're just carrying on the tradition and everything. So, uh, you know, all of us need to give something back to these guys because, uh, you know, like they're, they're writing a blank check for the United States and for the people. Jody's hunting with Rock Canyon Ranch head guide, Ray Hanselman, who used a variety of techniques on day one to get the deer moving, since it's still early in the season where they're hunting. It's, it's been tough, past a tough couple of days which is good, you know, it got me out of my comfort zone and uh, it's just nice to be able to hunt different terrain and a uh, different area and, and get out and just do something totally different. And uh, that's pretty much what we did. Now day two has Ray and Jody set up in a heavy traffic box blind where they're hoping to find an older mature buck for Jody to harvest. There were several spikes, young bucks and a handful of does scattered out there and 
and the, the young bucks were chasing those does around, you know, and, and making some racket and some grunting and, and the sparring and little fights going on, you know, and I guess that, that nine point, he, he couldn't handle it. You know, he, he heard all that commotion and uh, we'd seen that deer on trail cam and, and it was always er, er, early, early in the morning, like, in, you know, in darkness. And uh, he, he came in there right before his, it was too late to shoot. It was starting to get dark on us pretty quick and Ray looked over and said, don't move. And I could just see him out of the corner of my eye of that blind and man, my old heart rate got up pretty high. And so I started to take some deep breaths. He said, you got time, just relax. And I said, let him come on out. And he said, he'll come up there to those does. And he said, just wait till he gets in a good position. Good looking buck. Oh, he dropped me. It was kind of a tough hunt, but I really enjoyed it. You know, I made some good friends down here and I met a lot of great people. And, uh, you know, the lodge was nice and uh, food was really good. And, uh, like I said, people were nice, good just to come down and relax and do some hunting. That's a nice buck. Real been, nice. That's, that's hard hunting. And this is, you know, for the conditions we did, I think we did great. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm proud to. At Yamaha, met Wade Middleton, glad they uh, invited y'all to come out. And, Man. And we're, we're proud to have you. Deer of a lifetime. Right. Biggest nice. whitetail I've ever shot. Well, good, ever. good. Well, that was another successful entry in the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. When Whitetail Diaries returns, Ted Gartner heads to the Running V Ranch to go after his friend's buck. And the TC Encore Pro Hunter XT now comes with Weather Shield. Tough as nails, it'll handle any weather conditions. TC's new fixed barrel muzzle loader, the Pro Hunter FX, is unbelievable with Weather Shield coating is B Breach 3 at an awesome price. Almost at my favorite spot. Hey, Ritz, what are you doing to my spot? I'm showing off my Pro Hunter FX, the perfect muzzle loader. My spot. Your spot? Pro Hunter XT or FX, perfect for your hunting spot. Check and see if I have a tree rat license. Please. Great white hunter. Julie Goloski, Smith & Wesson Consumer Program Manager and World Champion Shooter. Joe Zanetti, Smith & Wesson Finishing Specialist and Lifelong Hunter. Jim Dalton, Smith & Wesson Master Gunsmith. I shoot competitively and so does my son. Our people, our products, our passion. Smith & Wesson. In the world of ATVs, there's Tuv. Then there's Yamaha, real world Tuv. For the most rutted out trails, the hardest working farms, and the most remote hunting terrain, Yamaha Grizzly ATVs with electric power steering. Real world Tuv. I've bow hunted all over the world. I've harvested everything from a small coos deer to a 2,000 pound Asiatic buffalo. Accuracy and penetration are the two most important things I want out of an arrow. My micro diameter axis arrows provide better penetration for quicker kills and bigger blood trails. Hey, if you want a harder hitting arrow, pick yourself up a dozen axis at a local dealer today. It's for those who get up early on weekends, and those who'd rather rough it than take it easy. It's for those who know it's not just a sport, but a way of life. The new Food Saver Game Saver Vacuum Sealing System keeps food fresh up to five times longer with a rugged design and 12 volt adapter cord for easy use in the field, ensuring your game and fish is fresh when you need it. The Food Saver Game Saver Vacuum Sealing System, field it fresh, sealed fresh. 
Welcome back to Yamaha's Whitetail Diaries, brought to you in part by Yamaha ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles, real world tough. Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Smith & Wesson, safety, security, protection, and sport. Activision presents Cabela's Big Game Hunter. The outdoors is yours. The Running V Ranch is known for its giant bucks, including bucks that can get you hooked and elude you time and time again. Wade Middleton knows this all too well. And now, Yamaha's Steve Nessel also has been hunting a buck that he can't get out of his system. You know, the one thing I've gotten to do over the last couple of years is hunt with uh, Steve from Yamaha and then hunt with Ted from Garmin. And I've got to hunt with both. I've got to hunt turkeys with both of them. I've got to hunt deer with both of them. We even hunted an axis deer together. And uh, it's crazy how events play out. Uh, you know, Steve shows up usually about a week before Ted does. Steve came down a little earlier this year, so uh, we came to this ranch and we hunted down here because the deer were already moving pretty good. And uh, Steve showed up, we hunted three days hard and uh, saw a lot of deer, saw a lot of younger deer. Some of the older deer weren't moving yet. We were hunting one particular deer in, in, in general. So yeah, we had the opportunities with Steve to shoot some other deer, but you know, when you find one deer that you want to take, you know, you kind of hunt for that deer. Steve, uh, he, he's a hard hunter. He, he will get out there and he'll hunt and he'll hunt hard. Um, and, and as we all know, anybody that spent time in deer camp, sometimes that doesn't matter. You know, sometimes uh, you just can't find a, find a deer, can't even pay for a dang deer. Um, and then other times, you know, you can just walk into camp and deer walks up, you shoot it, tag out, go home. And, and sometimes it works out that way. Nothing really ever happened. So, I mean, he had to go home empty handed again. Steve and JJ scour the ranch on a Yamaha Rhino side by side. But now before you get out in the field, Yamaha presents Ride Smart. Making sure every ride you have on your ATV or side-by-side -side is a smart ride. Learn and follow all of your local riding area and national forest laws and regulations, including sound levels, safety gear requirements, age limits, and safety course recommendations and requirements. Use up-to-date local travel and trail maps to assure you only ride in permitted areas and on designated open trails. For a complete responsible rider checklist, visit yamahaoutdoors.com. Back to the hunt. Steve's hunt didn't end with a harvest. However, Ted is on his way to try his hand at this elusive buck now. When Wade called me, uh, he said, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna hunt this ranch around Cuero. And I said, I, sounds good, never been there. It'll be some good, good new, new place to hunt. And uh, he's like, this is Steve's deer that he's been hunting for and we haven't found the darn thing and he hunted hard for him, couldn't find him. I hadn't had a chance to uh, email Steve, so uh, I had a uh, connecting flight through Dallas. I was sitting there in Love Field, kind of wondering what I was going to do. Picked up my phone and texted Steve and I said, Steve, I'm coming down after your deer. And, and uh, so, you know, it was basically, uh, I got down here, uh, we hit camp. In 20 minutes I was in camo and I was in my stand. And about 10 minutes after that, that's when my deer showed up. Yeah, he's right behind her. There he goes. Yep. Hey, that's the buck we've been looking for right there. He's following that doe in the field. Just give him a minute and see what they do here. When the Whitetail Diaries returns, we'll see if Ted really is the luckiest outdoorsman ever. Now, when it comes to wildlife management products and services related to raising big whitetails, you don't have to look any further than Mummies Incorporated. Located in South Texas, Mummies has been the leader in wildlife management products for over 20 years and know what products it takes to get the job done right. We're the largest independent dealer of Purina's Antler Max line of deer feeds. In addition to our famous brand of Mummy's Deer Corn that's utilized on ranches all across South Texas. We have a wildlife specialist on staff to answer your deer management questions and help you out with your deer program. At Mummy's, you're a part of the wildlife family and not just a customer. We try to be here for more than just some place to stop and pick up feed. We're here to answer anybody's questions and any kind of wildlife related instances. 
Before you make your next purchase of any wildlife-related items, be sure to check out our website at www.mummiesinc.com to see how we can help you out. Otis is breaking the tradition in gun cleaning. When cleaning my shotgun. My shotgun. My rifle. My shotgun. My pistol. My rock. I rely on the Otis breech to muzzle cleaning system. Lightweight and portable, Otis systems are the only cleaning systems that are versatile enough to clean my shotgun. My pistol. My rifle. My shotgun. When it comes to clean, there's only one. You only need one. Just one. Otis. 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 I count on Otis. So I can count on my firearms. Otis technology, the most advanced gun care systems in the world. Are you hunting for a trophy whitetail? To harvest a big buck, you've got to hunt where he lives. And that's the Nooner Ranch, home of some of the biggest bucks in Texas. Whether it's rifle or archery, the Nooner Ranch can accommodate your hunting style. To book the hunt of a lifetime, call 210-508-0113 or visit NoonerRanch.com. Next Generation is born from passion, inspiration, innovation. It's an all-new binocular forged through experience and built to exceed expectations. A new series of rifle scopes engineered to welcome the challenge of dawn and dusk and deliver the promise of precision with technology that helps make every shot spot on. Pro Staff is the next generation of passion-inspired performance. It's Next Generation, now. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Yamaha's Steve Nessel hunted the running V Ranch a few weeks ago and was hunted by an elusive buck. Now Garmin's Ted Gartner's arrived at the running V Ranch and is about to start his hunt with guide and outfitter J.J. Ducharme for that very same buck. When Wade told me that uh, I'd be hunting down here, I'd be hunting with J.J. again, I, I knew that was my ace in the hole. Uh, I always have luck with JJ. Uh, so when Wade said that I was gonna, I was gonna be hunting with JJ, I figured, you know what? I got a pretty good chance at this deer. Now before they head out, Whitetail Diaries presents Fully Loaded, getting you geared up from head to toe for every hunt. Handheld navigation systems are a must have in any outdoor situation, getting you and your buddies to and from your hunting destination safely and making your hunt successful. The Garmin GPS Map 62 series offers a highly sensitive GPS receiver, 100K topo maps which display cliffs, rivers, valleys, and other points of interest, a three-axis compass that requires no calibration for a level read, and it's compatible with a subscription to bird's eye satellite imagery offering you higher quality satellite images of the area you're looking for. Earlier this year, Ted Gartner took this Garmin handheld around the Whitetail Diaries deer camp, arcing blinds for easier access come hunting season. Basically, this unit has a track log. You don't have to do anything other than start walking, and it will lay down a breadcrumb trail exactly where you go. So you can walk into your stand in the daylight, mark it, and then that morning you can sneak in before first light, following that breadcrumb trail the entire way. All right, we're back from our scouting trip on the Rhino. Uh, we've marked a number of different locations and they're all on this unit. Now you can either put that on your computer or if your buddy's got another Garmin, you can transfer that data wirelessly from the master unit to the other unit. Basically, I just go to share wirelessly, hit enter, and I hit receive because my other unit is sending. I go up to this one. I'm gonna send a waypoint. Let's send Wade's Palace. That needs to be shared. And it's receiving the unit right there. It takes all of two seconds to transfer that information. And that, that data is important, not only for you, but it can help make a buddy's hunt successful. For a complete line of Garmin products, or to find out more about any of the Garmin products seen on today's show, visit Garmin.com. Back to the hunt. After only 20 minutes in the blind, Ted and JJ have their buck in sight and have been watching him for a while now, hoping that he will give Ted a shot. When, when Steve was down, we were hunting one particular deer and, and 
in general, and uh, and this one deer had a drop time, and uh, and to hunt a deer like that, to even get to see a deer like that, and even get to take a deer like that, you know, is truly a privilege. And uh, Ted does show up, and you know, the deer comes out, and I mean, you can't miss it. He's got a big old drop tine on his right hand side. When he walks out, you know, it's like wow, there he is, you know. And uh, and the hardest part about all that was we got to watch him for 30 minutes. You know, and he finally kept coming closer, coming closer, and then that big old drop tine sitting over there. Man, I fall in love with that drop tine. I don't have one of those. I want one of those. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I say get your gun ready. If he's going to walk that pose like that, you got a good shot. I mean, you got a good shot of everything. You know, when that deer showed up, I was not prepared. I mean, I was I was two hours from getting off an airplane, and, and here this deer shows up. We barely had sat down, and this thing came out of the woods, and, and I I wasn't prepared to, to pull the trigger, let alone, I didn't know what to do. But it gave me a lot of time to just think, and I was thinking, man, if only Steve could be here and see this. And I was like, man, uh, what a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to, to shoot a buck with a drop tine, and, and uh, he, he kind of slowly moved forward, and, and I just kept starting thinking, don't miss this shot. Don't miss this shot. Here we go. Okay. Can you get him right there? There you go, right there, right there. Good job, Bingo. Ted. Bingo. Good job. That is an awesome deer. <laughs> Sometimes it, everything works out for you and, and you're kind of the golden child in deer camp and then other times you can't buy a break. Man, look at that. That's awesome. That man, there's not, awesome. Many, not many people that get no, to shoot with a drop. Man. And the good thing is you can tell, look, he's already got a broke, broke point yep. here and he broke one off here, yep. but he's still got his drop time. So that's what makes him awesome. Awesome, there awesome. All I was thinking was, man, I can't wait for Steve to see this. And, so we finally uh, exchanged an email or two, and there were a couple of choice words in that text that uh, probably are not fit for television, but uh, he was happy for me, and, and uh, you know, I, I'd be the same for him, and I'm sure I'm, sure I'm going to get my due someday at Deer Camp, because that's just the way it happens. Well, that was another successful entry in the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. For more information, give the owners of the Running V Ranch a call at 713-304-5601. Thanks for watching. Want to win a hunt with Wade Middleton at the Whitetail Diaries Deer Camp and be featured on a future episode of the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries? Well, all you have to do is like us on Facebook. The more likes we get, the more prizes we give away, like Cabela's gift cards, Nikon binoculars, gear from Garmin, and much more. Now, after 25,000 likes, you'll automatically be entered in a drawing to win a filmed hunt with Wade Middleton. Tell your friends, it's easy, just click the like button. For a complete list of the giveaways, visit whitetaildiaries.com and find a link to our Facebook page. And join us next week, won't you, for more whitetail hunting adventures. You'll never get another good, get a good deal on a garment. You're done getting good deals on Yamaha. <laughs>